फोर्थ सेवेंथ एट्थ एंड ट्वेल्थ हाउस इट्स कॉल्ड द मांगलिक दोषा पूजा दोषा वॉट यू सेन साउथ राइट so when we talk about mangal mangalik dosh to one thing comes up very very strong why what is mangalik by it is a very myth ki a person dies a spouse dies and these kind of areas will listen it's not true mangal is a very high source of energy mangal wherever sits will always start initiate that work let it be mangal in lagna that aggression is being out there because that what is first house what is i me myself your energy is being at the first house so जहां पर भी मंगल होगा वो एनर्जी को हाउसफुल दे देगा मेष राशि देन इट्स हेल्प वेर एवरी मेष राशि इज यू विल ऑलवेज ट्राई टू इनिशिएट थिंग्स फ्रॉम देयर यू विल ऑलवेज योर 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 वो घंटी बजता है ना योर बेल्स विल रिंग आउट देयर एग्जांपल देता हूं वेरी क्लियर समबडी ए जेमिनाय लगना जेमिनाय लगना मींस 3 मिथुन जेमिनाय लगना मेष राशि गोस इन द 11थ हाउस एरीज गोस इन द 11थ हाउस any gemini kind of a personality choose it you ever talk to them about any blah blah things they may not listen to it as soon as you talk about profits if you do this this will be the gains that person's wo kehta na it will be like that antenna will go immediately immediately kark lagna people mesh rashi 10th house whenever you talk about the initiation of any work they will be the one let's start this kar lenge they take that risk takers टिपिकली रिस्क टेकर्स वृश्चिक लग्ना मेष राशि वेर इट गोज इन दिक्कत हाउस ऑलवेज हैव दैट प्रोबेबिलिटी टूवर्ड्स द जॉब डूइंग आउट देर के चल यार रिस्क लेते हैं कर करके देखते हैं कॉम्पिटेटिव है ना जस्ट फाइट फॉर द कॉम्पिटिशन लेट द मार्क्स भी एनी वेयर सेपरेट बट अंडरस्टैंड द साइंस बिहाइंड इट मेष इज वॉट द एनर्जी स्टार्टिंग वॉट डू आई से mix the rashis and the houses together you will understand it. example again supposedly your house first house is you are again just starting of anything it is very misconcepted ki rashis have another attribute which is not like that anywhere no 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 book virtu rashi hora shastra any sahita is not written that it is always mix and mixture first house first rashi are typically same basic attributes so now the both the rashis are moving here and there there are some basic different attributes to it But not as different as the people claim to us. It. It's not written anywhere. There's a theory. So I make a theory. So for an example, is that Mesh Rashi is somewhere where I'm not even getting a point. So let it be that. Uh, so any 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 theory can come up for that matter. But understanding is Mesh is what the starting. Brish is what your food second house. Brish lagna people, Taurus lagna people. You know, I ever see the love for their food will be there. Understand? See that. second rashi is coming out there na third rashi the habitual things jemina the habitual things the practicing the vakta speeching everything would be very seeing both mercury also for sure that's but then also you will that's the basic karak tatva i'm talking about kark lagna people what is moon about i have spoken about it we haven't touched the planets right now also but what is moon moon is your mood swings those will always have a fickle mind you do it anyways again a watery sign being out there so understand the rashi have the same attributes character towards they are moving around everywhere so they uh, hold those things logic samajh aaya ya nahi aaya you got that or not so i was coming back to mangal mesh uh, mangal so mangal is what a high power energy you go to any gym they are in india na so you go to any gym so hanuman ji spread out there every bodybuilder will pray to hanuman ji that it be by any means is that muscle man so you go to any gym both of them will agree shrivi will agree vipsha will also agree and you go to any gym hanuman ji's photo will be there you name it right so why because he is that muscle man he is that power house of everything so mangal is that typical energy which we typically say everywhere so what is first house what is i me myself mangal being out there that can be a very aggressive kind of a personality very, very basics aggression fourth house what is fourth house my mother my house Aggression. Where would aggression come? Towards the house. Where is seventh house? Seventh house is spouse. Seventh house is partnership. Mangal being out there is again the problem. Ashtam is somewhere where the your health related issues can be there. That person can be risky. Dekh lenge, kar lenge. We'll do that. That is the eighth house. That is Mangal eighth house is not that very very auspicious problem. Twelfth house. What is twelfth house? Twelfth house is your bed pleasure. Twelfth house is your typically sleeping out there. You being very very aggressive. So Mars kind of a person is aggressive. Towards himself, spouse, family, whatsoever. 
that's the reason i said a mangli getting to a mangli is a better area where they can balance each other that is the only logic behind it nothing more than that today we have mixed and matched every attribute and theory the the, the problem also lies one where very clear thing is why do pundits do that and i i trust me i won't say i support them but i understand their problems in india nigar what happens is so now suppose uh, vipsha has people and he has she has to give something to the uh, mandir the priest it is our mentality we will just give them 11 rupees 51 rupees or 101 rupees that's it the least the smallest uh, currency note will be in our hands said i i hope you agree to me right that is what we give to the temple uh, mandir people right so he's seeing our horoscope and he's doing everything and then you know uh, giving that 10 rupees or 15 rupees or 100 rupees max to max we don't give that so understand he's also a human he also has to run a family he also has to take care of anything and everything today in india 100 rupees you do not get even a burger a burger is also not out there right it's not even one dollar approximately one dollar very approx more than a dollar right so what do you get in that that thing the inflation is high as simple as that and today we expect that pandit has to do anything and everything in for 100 rupees for us he has to save all our planets sorry guys he cannot do it. he cannot do it. so that's the reason what they say is you have a sarasati problem you have a manglik problem you have dhaiya problem or you have kalsar yoga or you have pitra dosh so what do you do is you get scared out of it what do you do is okay can you do some puja for me yes i can do the puja for you oh, they we go out there and we give some money and he does that puja he also has to run his show right as simple as that so that's the reason i always say try to help that priest to you if you people remember so i'm not so sure you would remember vipsha ji i i think you would be because said your age is not that makar sakranti uh, 15 14 15 january right every hindu home is about is always giving some rice dal and everything to temple we do we give our donations that is we give our donations right that is again once a year so now suppose i give you a uh, one 1 kg of chawal once a year and 100 people are giving you cannot do anything about it you will end of the day you will you will sell it or you will throw it off when the trading was out there the raja took care ke the priest house is full initially what happened was in our villages or in the cities there was a temple community and temple community is always living out there right so in community it was mandated for every temple uh, pandit to do puja for anybody and everybody in that community in that case everybody from everybody's house one roti two roti or whatsoever would go to the temple every day for that family of pandit you do not worry for your food and everything money we are there to take care you just take care of our planets and our energy so that was the barter system today we haven't done that today we remember pandit for basic things right are ye log 11 rupees take 11 rupees and do our things why would he do simple why would he do so this is our fault we need to change that mentality let's start from us and then we'll take it further towards the society second when mangal coming you understood mangal right i was about to say something else. just yesterday there was another topic what we were talking about and this was very very uh, uh, interesting topic and i always try to say about it last uh, last year also i said i spoke about it there is something called karmas karma okay, what is the karma there is something called our planetary issues what we do what the, the remedy is what we typically say right karmas is different remedies is different understand that's very very clear there is no second thought over it when we talk about our karmas in general we typically say ke we have to do good deeds we have to do good things then only it will be helpful and god will listen to us and god will be giving us things and uh, whatsoever we say correct that matlab aap acha kaam karoge then only you will get good things what would planets in very basics try to understand supposedly vipsha ji your child is too young right he gets cranky so cranky in the sense of i need a chocolate or i need a toffee or i need something so you will try to pause him for okay, no no let's wait for tomorrow or whatsoever right but at the end what you need to do is if he gets that cranky mer ko nahi baat karna to he the pet ko root jata na bachcha i'm wrong to do so what you do is you give you, you gift him that chocolate you gift him that to okay please calm down you pacify that kid simple you pacify that kid so what we what we also do is with our planets are we try to pacify them with what how mantras 
how donations, how homas, homas is, havans uh, and everything. We do it by that process. But we never try to resolve those problems are not resolved. My teacher, my, my guru is always, ki, you need to do two, five things regularly. What is that? He says, you need to do your guru mantra. If you have a guru mantra, do that. Your dasha mantra, your ish mantra, ish is your god whom you like. And your, uh, you need to wear your lagnesh stone. These are some attributes what my guru says every time. My other teacher says a very different attribute. Now, he says, two teachers are different. They say different things. My other teacher says, so this is what my Guruji says, every day you need to do it. One thing is this. Second teacher says, what is, has to happen, has to happen, you cannot change it. He's very, very blunt about it. He, once there was a webinar of 500 people and he was like that. I do not do any remedy. I teach people, I tell them, but I do not do any remedy. Somebody asked, sir, why do you don't do you? You have such a bold statement. He's a very famous uh, teacher. Why don't you do it? The reason I do not do it, why? Because I do not want to create karmas for myself again. He gave an example. My Guruji also gives the same example. Ramakrishna Paramans, I'm sure you must have heard. Because you have heard Ramakrishna Paramans, Swami Vivekananda's Guru. So Ramakrishna Paramans was one uh, Guru who somebody came to him, he had cancer, so he just touched him and done some puja, the cancer was gone. It was gone. It was recorded, which is said, read about Ramakrishna Paramans. So at last, Ramakrishna Paramans got cancer. And uh, everybody said, why are you not, you, you have uh, cured more than 1000 people on this earth and you're not getting a personal care. I cannot do it. Why? The karmas are there. I have to face this. If I dissolve myself again, I have to come back in my body and I have to take that. So not today, tomorrow, day after tomorrow, I have to come back again. I have to do it. So I won't do it. This pain is destined to me. I'll take this as a destiny. I'll take it. And he died with cancer. Swami Vivekananda has written about it many, many times everywhere. All right. So that is also one theory behind it. What has to happen has to happen. So I always say this. Whenever you do your remedies, rituals, you are just trying to pacify them. You're just trying to calm those energies. Nothing more than that. What has to happen? In Hindi, which is shuli ka shul, means it has to happen with a big force, it may happen like this. You can just pause it, but it may happen, this is for sure. So the remedies is what? You need to pacify your planets. Karmas is where it stands. Karmas is something where it has, it is connected to your births and births and births. In past birth, we are all connected by some attribute. That's the reason we are here today. You, this is your knowledge, which I'm just trying to deliver it to you. You people already had it. I am the only medium this in this life, which I'm just trying to activate it in your life. Nothing more than that. Right? So this is the karmas what we are dealing about. As simple as that. But the other specification is your remedial area. Remedy is just to pacify your planets. Never ever understand that remedy is somewhere you can create you can recreate your karmas. It can never be there. Never ever be there. I am very, very clear and very, very blunt about it. People who say you can cleanse your karmas, yes, you can do that, but that's a daily practice. So Gayatri mantra is one written out there which can help you to cleanse your mantra, uh, your pending karmas. The more you do it, the more your pending karmas are cleaned. Understand, ladies, you will understand. Oh, buddy, what do you say? Rikshaji, kismet book, so in uh, uh Nigar, in which we cook biryani in a big one, the big, big vessel in which you cook like that. So you keep cleaning it from morning to evening. It is clean, it is sure it is clean, but the more you clean it, the more the blackness is coming out. That is your car. The more you do it, the more it will cleanse you, the more it will cleanse you, the more it will cleanse you. I do not know which pending life karma is connected to me. I remember a story, I'm not remembering it immediately. Karna or whom was there? Okay. Bhishma Pitama. So I'm not remembering that story. So basically, the Bhishma Pitama, Bhishma Pitama was a very intelligent person. 
so he was suffering other that that barn and everything happened so he said prabhu why this happened to me i remember my 50 last births i haven't done anything for that matters ke i should be at the dead bed like this the krishna said go in this birth and see what he did now you'll understand that karma bishma pitama who we typically say and we do not consider him god also i'll be very very clear he is, is he was known as pitama like that he was given a padati maybe he's a very strong he's a very respectable guy in the society he, he how did he stop his pranas he was the son of whom ganga ma ganga putra is bishma pitama right he stopped his pranas he was inserted with lot of arrows and he was lying out there till that for 7 days or 8 days he didn't leave his pranas he waited for utrayan and then he uh, gave out his pran right that is it is written in our shastras everywhere that bishma pitama when speaking to krishna he said i don't know what has happened so he said go on this birth and see your karma now you'll understand where your bitterness has come from so understand which all karma which all births are connected to us where the births are connecting what is coming out to us we always say mere khat kisi ka i haven't done any bad to anybody but why this happening to me you'll understand this so now no planet can control that right yes we have yes vikshad we have remember the story about uh, mars only you had told us last session when i was in the first astrology class you know somebody some deity of yours so her mars was not in a very good position and she was supposed to have lot of uh, problems but she did not she overcame it so you asked her how it happened so that is how then you told us that she said that she chants um, hanuman chalisa every day i think 7 or 11 times kabhi bhi matlab baithte travel karte because she doesn't get time to sit a lot also i agree so i'll tell you the story what happens is uh, bhabhi hai hamari she is not my typically family family friend but a family kind of a friend my guru bhai and that the lady uh, jamuna lagna mangal debated in second house so she always said ki i felt very very darpok uh, thi matlab she was always very very scared of going from ground floor to first floor or second floor to get some stuffs in her home so with the akshit i was i was one kind of a person if light has gone at that age I used to sit and I I used to not used to do anything for that purpose. So, when I go, Bhabhi, uh, I also predicted the same. You are very darpo because second house, Mangal, we get depleted over there. Kethi, I was, but I have overcome this. When I go, Bhabhi, how did you overcome this? Kethi, Akshit, Hanuman Chalisa is kanthit to me. Kanthit means, I I breathe Hanuman Chalisa. The more you say, the you are you are chanting Hanuman Chalisa while talking also. That is what we say, kanthit. America. So since Kerry Akshit, I don't even remember now. Now Babi is approximately 78, 77, 78, 78. She's approximately 46, what uh, is 47 running here right now. Kerry Akshit, I don't even remember 40 years of what I have been chanting Anuman Chalisa daily. How many times I also don't remember. Why I do this? And Kerry, trust me that fear factor has gone out of my mind. And today I know this female. She's you know the most bold lady I know. Trust me on this, because what the मैं कभी उनको लेके आओ कभी ऐसा तो नहीं होगा वो आएंगी शायद कभी मतलब वो अगर उनके फैमिली को भी लेके तो बोलेंगे भाई भाई वो खतरनाक है वो खतरनाक है मतलब उसके आगे नहीं कोई टिकता नो बडी इज एवरीबडी स्केयर्ड एंड शी हैज ओवरकम दैट प्रॉब्लम्स दैट कर्मा चैंटिंग 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 शी इज ओवरकम दोस प्रॉब्लम्स वन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग योर हॉरोस्कोप योर स्पाउस हॉरोस्कोप इज अ रिप्रेजेंटेशन और इज अ Uh, final attribute of your children's horoscope so for an example again your son your daughter has a debilitated planet or a weak planet remember your events at that time for that planet between you and your spouse will be a problem out it can it can be anything it can be anything so for an example i know somebody who has a debilitated jupiter debilitated jupiter that female is very very what you call is holy and spiritually connected jupiter is a planet for the religion it is problem right jupiter 10th house mesh lagna kundli jupiter in 10th house very but when we go back at her birth area at the birth time there were some problems between the pa- parents and they were disrespecting some um, priest or she told me a typical story ki kuch na kuch problem tha to wo karm kahan pe aaya wo bachche ke andar aaya 
सो नो शी हैज अर ओल्ड कर्मास इन कनेक्शन टू अर पेरेंट्स कर्मास एंड हर हॉरोस्कोप केम बैक बट दैट लेडी टुडे इज वेरी वेरी बोल्ड मतलब दैट डू नॉट बोल्ड सॉरी वेरी वेरी स्पिरिचुअली इंक्लाइंड शी इज इनटू रेकी शी डज अदर थिंग्स फॉर दैट मैटर बट यस द प्रॉब्लम इज देयर दिस इज फॉर श्योर सो दिस इज वन अगेन वेरी वेरी क्लियर थिंग सेकंड गोइंग बैक टू मंगल तो मंगल रेमेडीज मतलब ना कल की क्लास बड़ी इंटरेस्टिंग रही आई वाज टीचिंग देम डिफरेंट एट समथिंग वेरी डिफरेंट बट केम आउट टू दिस narsimh avatar is connected to mangal mars in our vishnu we will talk so we will talk about when planets come in we we'll talk about it. so mars is again the aggressive energy bhai jo bhi gussa usa hai everything is mars so i am not getting into depth of the mangal attributes right now you may get confused so hanuman ji narsimh avatar and kartike murgan what we say are connected to मंगल एनर्जीज इन जनरल इफ यू अंडरस्टैंड हनुमान जी वी नो शंकर स्वयं के श्री नंदन तो टिपिकली महादेव कमिंग इन हिज ओन रूप एंड एज हनुमान जी ही ट्राई टू सेव एनीथिंग एंड एवरीथिंग आई टेल यू अ स्टोरी गिव मी अ रिमाइंडर इफ आई डू नॉट डू फॉर लंका आई टेल यू अ स्टोरी सो सेकंड इज नरसिंह अवतार वी ऑल नो हाउ डिड नरसिंह अवतार कम इन द प्ले रिना कश्यप ही वाज वन द मतलब कितना राउडी किंग था एक एंड What he did was that he tried to capture everybody. That like you have to just just uh, do my name as it. Jai Hrinath Kashyap, Jai Hrinath Kashyap, whatever the mantra. Hari naam nahi karna. You don't need to pray to Vidhan Raya and Vishnu Shiva Om Shiva. And he was blessed with Brahma. That you cannot die in air or in earth, inside or outside. Inside, outside, air, uh, by a male, by by a male or a female, by an animal or both. so god played a very important role what he did he came into an avatar of uh, uh, lion and half human where did he kill narsim he killed narsim on his laps where delhi is on the, the threshold like delhi ke upar rakh ke wahan par hi rakha and he killed neither inside nor outside in the middle neither up nor neither down the earth acha what there was another thing uh, na subah na raat so when he was killed in the evening time the dawn time so god played his own uh, leela right narayan always was very very clear with it so narsim avatar narsim avatar again comes into the mangal attributes vishnu king of there hanuman ji i was talking about hanuman ji is the only god when you talk about any planet for that matters mangal is connected to it positive negative whatsoever surya who is the guru of hanuman ji sun chandra again a friendship area jupiter again a friendship area rahu rahu was coming to uh, like it's eat sun during an eclipse day so hanuman ji caught him and gave him a good one sabne suna hua hoga na mara bahut tha rahu ko rahu when we came we went to indra and everybody so there is something he has disturbed the uh, society now so Then Mercury is neutral to it. Mercury does not take any major panga. He is a very neutral. Mercury is a child. Shukra Charya again. There was a problem with Shukra Charya. Also, Mangal also. Ketu is always behind Mangal. Shani vat Rahu kuch vat Ketu. There is a line called Rahu always behave like Saturn and Ketu always behave like Mangal. So Ketu does not take any panga. Shani Mangal we always know that uh, once Shani created a problem and they had a fight and Hanuman ji won over it. so mangal hanuman ji is the god if you want to take care of any planet he is one area you can ask him for that favor he help you this is for sure so coming back okay i was talking about murgan this is a very interesting story so we know uh, in south especially murgan has its own uh, domination that could be hyderabad that could be chennai and bangalore bangalore everywhere right He is very, very dominant. He why he is dominated because the demons, the deities, try to control. They they took over the South India everywhere. So Mahadev was busy in some other areas. So he had sent his well, son was ready. Kartikeya was ready. In North we do not prefer Kartikeya. Said you will understand in Delhi Kartikeya ki ka puja hoti hai. There is Shivling, Ganesh ji, Devi Parvati, Kartikeya, and uh, and we just pour water and things. We don't do any other puja for the Deva Kartikeya. Only temple in Delhi. As I know for Kartikeya's uh, Malai Mandir in Arkipur, 
if you have gone shared you have gone right you, you must have visited out there i love that mandir it's a beautiful mandir so coming back to kartik so kartik was sent to south to try to control and remove those uh, demons and everywhere he was successful over it he came back aggression was there because he had fought for years so aggression was there in his mind all the time so ma once said uh, ke you kartik this is not done she, a mother mother is there right wo na dant rahi hai kuch galat ho gaya so he he started bashing up with mother also parents see parent god is something different but when son father son uh, son mother mother son uh, combination is there that is different right we started fighting what is this you always try to scold me and everything why you are always like to mahade ke mind the power what is this how are you talking to your mother you also like this you always like that because he had a frustration for it but ganpati also that oh jo chakkar kaate the earth ke and everything you must have heard that story right so mahade was sir this is not talking you are given a god uh, area and still if you are behaving like this so this is something very very bad so kartike realized so he made a plan so in south you will understand there are lot of scriptures written by kartike burgan oh let it be veda or let it be shastra he has written this and this is still kept they are try to help that to keep it very very safe so at that time kartike was given a name called subramanya swami so in south he we call it subramanya swami majorly So Subramanya Swami is a calm version. It is a is a is a is a what are you calling this? Calmer version of uh, Kartik. He is the same. The God is the same. But he was given a name why? Because he was a very calm energy. Subramanya Swami is a very why calm energy? Kartik. He was aggressive. Aggression is where like this or by writing. So he took that aggression out by writing. Today also what we say, Kalam ki uh, your your pen has that power. Utilize that. So Kartik utilized that Subramanya Swami. So there is a mantra. I, one of my guru bhen, so she she told me once that a mantra for Subramanya Swami is Om Shri Subramanya Namaha. That is that one mantra. If you if you are very aggressive, Anumanji is that aggressive, or if you are typically very very anger area, so doing that mantra will be helpful to you. Who support it? I will say. to utilize this use this knowledge that will be good for you people so use karna what i was saying yaar main mangal pe kyun start hua tha i don't know mars has a very different uh, energy neem karoli baba in uttarakhand so he is typically like that shri ram jai ram jai jai yes nigar mam please chalo um sir i i i do have mars in the 8th house but it is in conjunction with uh, jupiter so you're not manglik i'm not manglik but um as i was listening to you i was observing it it is true that i'm very very patient but once i get angry and i always get angry only in the marriage i don't get angry with anybody else <laughs> god bless you when i become <laughs> fierce, i really i become so fierce i I am aware of of that, you know, Mar Mars energy that is like taking over. It burns. So that um, mantra. Is yeah, yeah, mantra that's why I'm writing it down. <laughs> and and I another thing that, uh, okay. sir, I, if I if I say something at at that in that state of mind, it happens. Like if I if my husband makes me really really angry, the next day the tree will fall on his on his car or you know. kind of things i've noticed that in 25 years so i'm just like i'm trying to yeah i know i'm just trying to be jupiter is there so there i, I know your horoscope jupiter is there that's a very major reason it's happening like that but it's good it's okay but you your husband should be very very aware of he he didn't know this yet he didn't realize the connection yet <laughs> <laughs> but good very nice very nice observation So one uh, thing I just forgot, Mars will. I mean, the effect of uh, Mars it lowers when. Angi dosh. With Jupiter, Rahu Ketu axis, Uch Nich, and Own sign, and uh, combust also for sure. But it written that if Jupiter sees also, na you know, na Drishti. So, but it sees also, no? then also it helps that Mangalik dosh. No, Mangalik dosh majorly is cancelled. 
not there. Yes, please. Sir. Nee, after hearing Nigar, I'm just saying, should I be worried if if there's a if there's a girl with Mars in the eighth house? <laughs> Which Rashi is that? So Nigar, uh, first of all, uh, uh, Mangal with Jupiter being out there, na? I told you one thing. I remember one thing very very clearly. What does Brigu says? Jupiter is what you are. Jupiter is with what any planet you behave like that. Simple. There is no second thought over it. Jupiter is what? Jupiter is your planet which is responsible. I, me, myself, I always say that typically first house, Jupiter are always the same attributes all the time. Right? Always. Hmm. I was making notes for that matter. Jupiter, uh, Jupiter. So Jupiter is self, religion, wisdom, public activity, guide, pious, public activity again. So that is Jupiter. What is Mangal? Brother, husband, stubbornness, surgery, land, properties, problem, skill, adamantation. Jupiter is with what? Adamantation. Jupiter is what? Aggression. So Nigar has an aggression. Why is this Nigar aggression coming out at the uh, marriage area? Because Mangal is again husband also. Brigu says Mangal is husband. Brigu says you are Jupiter. Agar, aisa, how do you see Mangal in the eighth house as a husband? Does that mean the husband is secretive? Ya phir kuch hoga aise? Is like, is that? Mangal, suppose na, Nigar's uh, Mangal is in eighth house. In general, now very very vague. We know the Lagna, but I'm not considering Lagna right now. Any Rashi for that matter. One thing, yes, he or uh, the, the the spouse can be secretive. Second, Mangal with Jupiter, the spouse can be very very pious and very very uh, what do you call is. Strong, religious kind of a person, respectable yes, kind of a person. Very virtuous, very virtuous, very yes. dharmic, and very yeah. secretive. Very secretive. I still don't know what he does, where he goes, <laughs> with who he talks on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> you need to be careful now. <laughs> But see, this is for the female, right? Male name. Male Mangal is brother, uh, brother. No, no. Yes. For you, we have to look at Venus only. Nobody else. Now, suppose your Venus is in Mars, then there is something we need to worry about. <laughs> oh, God. I'll teach you something, na, Brigu. Some days I'll teach you very small attributes which where you would be able to. When we do the planets, give me a reminder. I'll teach you just 10, 10 words for each planet. And I'll teach you immediately how to predict about a person, about that nature immediately in two seconds. Just two seconds you'll be able to predict. I'll just teach you just two minutes predictions, snapshot predictions immediately. You don't need anything else. Hmm. Yeah, Sid, you were saying something. Mangal Ashtam, sorry, I'm sorry. I, I forgot. No, no, no. But, but yeah, I think very interesting. Uh, Baki, as we as we progress, I think I'll I'll pick it up. But uh, uh, in uh, I think in Nigar's case in particular, what you were talking about is just because Jupiter and Mars is there. That's the reason why this kind of goes more in alignment. Every horoscope is unique. Every horoscope is unique. definitely. Every horoscope has an other attribute to it. That you cannot even talk about it. Every horoscope has 200 yoga schools. How to create those, how to see those, that is a area where we need to figure out. Nigar, now you can understand why your husband is religious and uh, creating out there. So, clear. Vipsha has to see her husband Mangal again, where the Mangal is being a very, very important role. She has to see her wife, so Venus. No other plan. He won't see Mangal. He wants Jupiter is for us. If you want to see yourself, see Jupiter. Uh, actually, so I will see Venus placement in my chart or in her chart. Your chart. So in my chart, Venus, life. Venus first house, obviously looking at seven, which is for the spouse. So that's okay. I teach one. What? 